Shalom everyone, hope everyone doing well. It's time to distinguish between the righteous and the wicked. Um, a foundational scripture that I want to bring out. Deuteronomy 8 and 3 and also Matthew 4 and 4 saying the same thing. Man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Father. This is going to be crucial in the next few videos and I will echo this again we should know the scripture um we see here 666 and another a note here we have since I'm bringing this up, we have been living by the words that came from the mouth of man and not the father in these few next few videos that will be proven we see here 666 number of the beast we know Many people, Christians, um, the wicked, I mentioned this, we, and even Israelites, they all saying 666 is the number, is the mark of the beast. This number is everywhere. We see this number everywhere. This video is, we're going to see the origin of the mark of the beast. Where did this come from? We need to know the or its origin where did this come from and we see this number everywhere it's tattooed everywhere no matter what you're watching on tv it is it's everywhere this is something that we pretty much know you see this number stamped everywhere and there is a reason why this is embedded in people and people are anticipating this to be to this to come this to be rolled out on the public and most people many people believe the RFID chip and again where did this come from okay Isaiah 28 and 10 this is important for precept must be upon precept precept upon precept line upon line here a little there a little this is very important when it comes to your research your studying of the scripture you must be able to precept scripture with scripture. Deuteronomy 19 and 15. Okay. This is the law concerning witness. One witness shall not rise against a man concerning any iniquity or lawlessness that he commits. By the mouth of two to three witnesses, the matter shall be established. We need to understand. Precept must be upon precept. We need to establish a matter it must come from the mouth of two to three witnesses and we will see the echo in Matthew 18 and 16 but if you will not hear take with you one or two more that by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established every word may be established out the mouth of two to three witnesses okay Revelations 13 15 through 18 and this is where we see this mark he was granted power uh, to give breath to the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed he caused all both small and great rich and poor free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no man may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. And this is where it's echoed. When people see something, written in the Bible in the Bible let me say this when they see it written in the Bible they take it as the word of the Most High one of the foundational teachings of Christianity is the Bible all of the Bible is the word of the Most High and that is far from the truth and this is the reason many get tripped up we're seeing it if they see it in the Bible they think that it's established 
no matter if it came out the mouth of one person. My question is, this number 666, this is my question, and I want someone to tell me. I'm looking for a precept. At first of all, this, I wasn't, I don't go too much into uh, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. I don't, I, I looked at it, I studied it. It's, I'm more into the prophets. If you been on if you've been watching this channel for a while you will understand i tend to stay away from the new testament and i stay in the law and the prophets that's where i i teach the most from you will see most of the videos i'm coming from there and every now and then i will go to the new testament and i've made mention of this i me personally i tiptoe through the new testament because all of it was compromised and so I understand that the fact the New Testament is not necessary. It, it, it doesn't necessarily have a precept, not all of it. And when I don't see a precept, uh, the question mark comes up. OK, where did this comes from? And we see here the number 666. My question to you, what other book, what prophet, what hidden book mentioned this number? 666 flags should be going off right now and anyone that's seen this number anywhere else let me make mention this number is only mentioned in the bible concerning the mark of the beast one time right here revelations 13 and 18 one time that's it and so if there if it's <clears throat> if it's anywhere else i need someone to drop a comment in the comment section and tell me where and i will look into it but I have been studying. I haven't seen this number anywhere else. I know it's not in the Bible. Uh, dealing with the mark of the beast. I don't want some number that Solomon said. I don't. I know this. I don't want that number. <clears throat> I want the mark of the beast, the number of his name, written somewhere else. Okay. Let's look at this number. The number of the beast. <clears throat> Associated with Revelations chapter 13, it's the number. They give the number 666. It said it's noted that it's a variant. The oldest preserved manuscript as of 2017, <coughs> as well as other ancient sources, the number of the beast is 616. What is this? So we're seeing the oldest manuscript as of 2017. As far back as we can go, the number was 616 and not 666. Now, once again, it mentions anyone add to or take away. This is an addition. The 666 has been added. So that number used to be another number, 616. And the question is, who changed this number? And why was this number changed? Now, you don't have to answer this. I don't have to answer this. Because once I dug into this, it took me less than a few minutes to dig into this and find out what is going on. It's no use in looking into it. But here it is. This is the papyrus 115. And the number is 616. Right here. And if you come here, <clears throat> you can look it up. And this is it's showing where it was found in Egypt. And they have this in the museum. But this number is is 616 this is what the original number was and the number has been changed here here we're seeing a change in the scripture but no one is talking about this change i don't see anyone talking about this change why are we not talking about this change now the interpretations identifying of the number of the beast right here it falls in three categories using gematria gematria we are using gematria do you see this all right let's go to the gematria what is this you come over here to gematria gematria is originated as in a serial babylonian greek system alphanumeric this comes from babylonian 
a Greek, a, a Syrian Babylonian Greek system? This has nothing to do with the Most High. What is it doing in the Bible? You must ask yourself, why? How did this get in the Bible? We don't see anybody calculating numbers for letters and names. Not in Scripture. We don't see this. Now, did our people have some things that they did? Yes. But once again, those were kept secret. And see, the enemy knew of this, and he copied a lot of these secrets. But though many, much of that has been lost. But here we see the wicked operating in a system of numbers and letters. And this is where this comes from. And it should not be written in the Bible anywhere. Here is the history. Uh, the history some identity of two forms of gematria the revealed form which is prevalent in many hermeneutic methods fought um, found throughout Arabianic literature and the mystical form largely Kabbalistic practice now we're going into the Kabbalistic practice Kabbalah yes yes if you follow the 666, you are following this Jewish, we know where this comes from. This is Jewish mysticism. This is what they call it. This is what they call it. And so we are following, once again, not living by every word that come out the mouth of the Most High. But I tell you, we're living by words that came from the mouth of man and not the Most High. Let me show you. Before I go to this, here the value tables, and this is where they get their numbers from. We're not into this. This has nothing to do with the righteous. We will let the wicked. This is how you distinguish between the righteous and the wicked. The righteous will not be doing what the wicked is doing, and this is wicked. Anything that you're doing that the Most High did not command. Trust me, it is wicked. It is wickedness. And anyone that goes against that is wicked themselves. Kabbalah. This is where this crap comes from. And this is just what it is. It's crap. And this is their esoteric teaching. That they know. They understand. And we see, what is it? Religious origin as an integral part of Judaism. To its later Christian. So it's see it's connected with Christianity. And this new age cult that we see. That arose in the world. This, this is its connection. This is the connection. This is a Jewish. You see right here. This is a Jewish tradition. We have nothing to do with this. Why are we. Why are we quoting 666. We, this 666 shouldn't even matter to us. Why? No power over us. Nothing to do with us. This is not, we are not, now, when I, when I mention this is from man and not the most high, I am not saying that the chip is not some mark that they created, because yes, possibly they created this chip to put in people. They are already doing it. But I'm saying this, and, and, this, they're saying you can't buy or sell. I'm saying this. It did not come from the Father. So when you see them roll this out, aha, it's true. No. When they roll this out, it would be something that they have done themselves. Now, I said all that to say this, and I'm at the end of this video already. Our people are being told in America from a camp that the RFID chip have yet been rolled out. So you have time. This is the reason they are looking forward to this RFID chip being rolled out. The mark of the beast having been rolled out. So they're telling people you have time. Listen, this is how people walking in error once again. And someone have to distinguish righteousness from wickedness. And this is what I have been compelled to do. This video, this is the origin of the mark of the beast and where it comes from. And now you know. Shalom.